Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we're going to take a look at a new game streaming service called Luna. The service is currently in beta, though you can request access to it, and if you're approved, for a small fee you can get access to a number of games. There are some premium channels as well, and we'll take a look at the Luna controller, which will allow you to play all these games on multiple devices. Let's get started. Let's take a brief look at how the Luna service actually works. First off, you are in your home, and inside your home you have various devices that are connected up. Let's say your computer, your Luna controller, your cell phone, your Amazon Fire TV are all connected over Wi-Fi. From there, your Wi-Fi connects up to the internet, which then provides access to the Amazon Cloud. There is no lengthy install process. In fact, there's very little configuration necessary at all to get the service working. You can easily begin playing on your computer and then switch over to your Fire TV or your cell phone. As a brief example, I'm using a Fire TV stick at 1080p and playing Far Cry 5. We'll take a closer look at this game in just a moment. Before we get too much further, let's take a brief look at the primary benefits of the Luna service. First off, there is no local installation of the games. They're all stored in the Amazon Cloud, as well as your progress. The game load times are reasonably fast, 20 seconds to roughly around 2 minutes for some of the larger games. Many of the games do play decently. Uh, early access pricing is $5.99 a month during the beta. The price may change in the future. Game playback is at 1080p, 60 frames per second, with 4K coming soon. You can stream on two devices at the same time. And it works on a PC, a Mac, a Fire TV, and a web app for the iPhone, iPad, and select Android phones. I'll place a link in the show notes below with some of the supported devices. One feature that was initially missing during the beta was the ability to use your Luna controller outside of the Luna application itself, and that has been fixed with a firmware update. The Luna controller itself supports 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Wi-Fi to your router, and it is possible to use the Luna service over 5G, which I did try my Samsung S20 Ultra, and it did work. That said, I do have a few concerns and things that I want to make sure that you're aware of. It can consume a large amount of data by using the service, approximately 10 gigabytes per hour at 1080p. So you will need a large data allowance with your internet service provider. You will also need a fast network connection, 10 megabits per second for 1080p, or 35 megabits per second if you plan on streaming to a 4K TV. And likely your biggest concern is the lag. And yes, the lag is noticeable in some games, particularly pinball and most of the Ubisoft games. Uh, an example is uh, roughly half a second lag was noticed when playing Far Cry 5. There are others. And playing Zen's Pinball, which was recently added to the list of games, was not exactly a pleasant experience. The lag between the time that the flippers hit and the ball actually moved was extremely noticeable in my opinion. That should get better in future updates, but hey, it's my current experience and I'm sharing it with you. There is a separate monthly fee of $14.99 to access the Ubisoft games. And the Luna controller uses two AA batteries, which uh, I would recommend getting a set of rechargeable batteries. Let's take a look at the Luna controller itself. Now, technically, you don't have to use this controller. You could use an Xbox One controller, among several others. But in my opinion, if you're going to use the service, I think you'll have a better experience using this controller. Plus, it can be used to control your Fire TV stick if you have one. And since it supports Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, it's just an overall good controller for this particular cloud service. All right, so let's take a look at it. The buttons do feel good. I've been using this for roughly around a month, maybe a little bit more, and I've been very pleased with the controller itself. I did have one issue, which was kind of funny. I'll talk about it later. 
Let's take a quick look at the manual. I want to highlight the action button, the home button, as well as the menu button, and also an Alexa button here if you prefer to use that. Looking at the rest of the manual, there's the barcode to download the Luna controller app to set it up on your cell phone, and some other stuff. <laughs> All right, that's enough of the manual. You will need two AA batteries, so you just remove the backing and plug in the batteries. It does not have a rechargeable internal battery, which is the funny part. I actually called Amazon and told them mine wasn't working, I couldn't recharge it. It was because the batteries had died and I had forgotten they were AA's. Looking at the buttons on the top here, they look pretty good. Your left and right trigger and all that. you got your ABXY. We'll press the Home or Luna button in order to turn on the unit. And you'll see this orange ring, that means it's ready for setup. You may also want this optional accessory, it's a phone mount for the Luna controller, which is pretty handy if you want to use this controller with your mobile device. It works actually pretty good. You just snap it onto the top here and pop it on the bottom, and now you have a nice little stand and it's spring-loaded and will fit pretty much any phone. Here I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and it fits. Let's go ahead and go through the setup real quick, just so you can see how to set it up. I'm going to go ahead and allow the Luna controller and press and hold the action and home button for five seconds. And we'll go into the settings here and it's going to search for the device and once it finds it, it'll connect up to the Luna controller and then ask you about your Wi-Fi network. So go ahead and select your network and it's going to possibly grab the latest firmware if it doesn't already have it. And once it's done, then you are basically connected. We'll hit OK. Next, it'll prompt you to set up the Bluetooth by holding the Action button and the B button for Bluetooth pairing, which we'll do. I'm going to go to Amazon.com Luna, and from there, you can request early access if it's not already publicly available by the time you see this video. I'm going to go ahead and request early access, and since I already have an account, I logged in with my Amazon account. Select Play Now in Chrome on your Android device, so you will need Chrome installed. Once that is done, you can scroll through the list of games and begin playing. To make it easier to launch Luna from your cell phone, you probably want to go up here and create the icon and add it to your home screen. So I'm going to do that. Go ahead and click the Add button on the Amazon Luna, and now I'll have an icon right on my phone. All right, so, okay, got it. Now we can go up to the settings, and I'm going to go ahead and hit Connections, Bluetooth, and go ahead and pair my Luna GamePad controller. There we go. Go ahead and hit OK. And now I can use my Luna controller to navigate my cell phone as well as play the games over Wi-Fi using their Cloud Direct service. All right, I'm going to launch it from the icon that we just created, and this is what it looks like. I'm going to just hit OK here, and you can scroll through the list of games. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the library icon, and yeah, there's a bunch of games here. I kind of fast-forwarded this section because I was a little bit slow scrolling, and I'm sure you didn't want to sit here and look at all this. But there are quite a few games that are available to you, and the list of games changes frequently. We'll go ahead and start a game here called Red Out. It's a fun, fast-paced game. I prefer to use this game for testing out the service on various devices just because it's so fast-paced. <laughs> Luna. As you would expect, the Luna service works pretty darn good on the Fire TV stick. Of course, you can use it on multiple devices, as you saw earlier with the Android device. Uh, it worked fine there. It also works well on the PC. In this case, I'm just going to download the app to the Fire TV and go ahead and set up the Luna controller, just like we did previously on the Android device but now we're playing on the Fire TV stick. And as you can see, you can control the Fire TV we can launch the Luna app, and you have access to your full game list on your Fire TV stick. Keep in mind, I did originally try this with the first gen Fire TV, and it did not work. I wound up having to replace it. You can also play it on your PC. In this case, I'm using a Windows 10 computer, 
and connecting it up to the Luna controller and it worked fine here. Now let's jump into some of the gameplay. I'm sure that's really what you want to see, so let's get started with that. We're going to start out with Infinite Mini Golf by Zen Studios. This game was just recently added to the Luna service. My daughter and I had a great time playing this the other day. Now we'll take a look at Far Cry 5 by Ubisoft. Keep in mind this is a paid for channel. It's $14.99 per month in order to play Ubisoft games. And I'm actually not familiar with this game. However, my daughter's boyfriend came over to the house and played this for about 30 minutes or so. And he mentioned that there's roughly a half a second lag in between the control movements and the on-screen interactions. And he also tried some additional games that were not Ubisoft, and they played fine. So I think there is some optimization required in order to get these games fully playable on the Luna service. But again, it's still in beta, and I'm sure those optimizations will take place. Now we're going to switch gears and go to Everspace made by Rockfish Games. This game loaded within 20 seconds. I'm speeding it up here just so you can see the load screen. And the controls were rather touchy to me. I'm sure I could have tweaked it a little bit and made it easier to play. Now again, we're on the Fire TV, so I'm going to show you Red Out by 34 Big Things SRL. And this is a fun game. I enjoyed this. It's very fast paced, as you can see. There's virtually no lag at all in this game. It, it plays well, even though I don't, personally. <laughs> but it's fun. Now we'll look at Control by 505 Games. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. Spoiled hey, excuse me. It's in. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Luna service by Amazon. While I am enjoying beta testing the service, it's not for everyone at the moment. I think for a service like this to be successful, it will need a model similar to that of Netflix, where a flat monthly fee exists that covers all games. Then let Amazon pay royalties to the game publishers based on usage. While the Ubisoft channel has some great games available, the lag is noticeable and detracts from the gameplay. It's not something I would recommend at the present time. That said, I do see this type of service as the future of gaming. I like the convenience of being able to play these games on a number of different devices without having to install the games themselves. However, such a service will consume a lot of internet bandwidth and a fast network connection. These may be obstacles for many at the present time. I do think if you're interested in trying the service, your best bet is to use the Luna controller. You'll have a better experience overall, 
and it can only get better. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button. If you want to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, please click the subscribe. And with that, I will talk to you very soon.